Hi, this is Mr. Tipton, and today we are back estimating percents using fractions. Our goal today is to rewrite some problems that involve percents and only use pretty numbers. Numbers that are easy to work with, things that we can do in our head. Okay, so get rid of the calculators today. We're not using them. We don't need them. All right, when I talk about pretty numbers and estimating percents using fractions, I'm talking about mostly these green numbers here. We know that one half is equal to 50%, one third is 33%, one fourth is 25%, and one fifth is 20%. All right, so all the problems that we're going to do are going to work with these pretty percents, these nice nice and pretty fractions. Here's what I mean. Example 1. 52% of 11. Well, which one of our pretty percents here is closest to 52%? Hopefully you recognize that 50% is closest. All right, so I'm going to change it to 50%. All right, now I also want another number that's really easy to work with with my 50%. And instead of 11, I'm going to use 10. So instead of 52% of 11, I now have 50% of 10. And because I want to use a fraction, I'm going to say half of 10. And we all know that half of 10 is 5. So 52% of 11 is approximately 5. We're, using, uh, we're estimating percents of numbers using fractions. Let's do another. Example 2, we've got 35% of 62. Well, which of our pretty percents, our green ones from the last screen, is closest to 35%? 33%. And... We know that 33% is a third. So what number is going to work nice and pretty with a third? Well, how about 60? 33% of 60. One third of 60. What's a third of 60? Same thing as asking yourself, what's 60 divided by 3? And the answer is 20. One third of 60 is 20. 35% of 62 is approximately 20. 24% 20. of 199. Our closest pretty percent to 24 is 25. And I'm probably going to round up 199 to 200. What is our fraction that goes with 25%? It's 1 fourth. What is a fourth of 200? Same thing as asking yourself, what is 200 divided by 4? Again, nice pretty numbers that we don't need a calculator for. Estimating percents with fractions. All right, 19% is going to be 20%. And you know, I like 50. I'm going to leave it. No need to change that because I know what a fifth of 50 is. Same thing as 50 divided by 5, which is 10. Pause this anytime you need to. Try it on your own. 41%. Let's see, is that closer to 50 or is it closer to 33? Um, gosh, it's kind of, it is, technically it's closer to 33, but you know what? Let me show you this. I'm going to do 40 this time. 40% 40 of 20. All right. One, uh, I'm sorry, 20%. I'll write off to the side here. 20% is one-fifth. So 40% is two-fifths. 
Really, I think 50% is too far away from 41, and 33% is too far away from 41. They're too far away to give us a reasonable estimate. But 40% is very close to 41. And instead of using one-fifth, I can use two-fifths. All right, two-fifths of 20. Well, one-fifth of 20 is 4. Hang on, there we go. One-fifth of 20 is 4. Actually, I'm not going to write it there. I'm going to put it down here like I have been. One-fifth of 20 is 4, but we need two-fifths. So what's two fours? Well, that's 8, because we need two-fifths. All right, let's do another one similar to that. Here we have 70% of 92. 70% isn't really close to any of our pretty percents. 20, 25, 33, 50. This is kind of a ways off. But 70% is close to 66%. of 90. You know where I'm going with this one? 33% is one-third. 66% or really 67% is two-thirds. Okay. So one-third of 90 is 30. But 66% is 2 thirds. So we need to multiply it by 2. And we get 60. 70% 70 of 92 is approximately 60. One more like this one. Got a big number here. 77% of 11,994. Again, our pretty green percents from the first screen, this isn't really close to, but I know that one-fourth is 25%. I know that two-fourths is 50%, and three-fourths is 75%, and that's pretty close to 77 and I'm going to make it 12,000. Nice round number. Stuff I can, stuff we can do in our heads. Okay. I'm working with fourths. One fourth of 12,000. 12,000 divided by four is 3,000. But I don't want one fourth. 75% is three fourths. So I'm going to multiply by three and get. 9,000. 77% of 11,994 is approximately 9,000. Alright, we are using fractions to estimate percents of numbers. Everything starts with our pretty green percents from the first page. Uh, the one-half, the one-third, the one-fourth, the one-fifth, and then we use those to find um, to find percents that are higher or percents that are um, not ex not very close to those pretty ones. All right. If you have questions, write them down. Be ready to talk about them, and we will see you soon.